Okay, so you're going to go component, model in place, and really you want to do generic. As long, unless it's doing something wildly different from a dome, you want it to be a generic. The best way, in my opinion, to do a dome is you're going to do a revolve, okay. right? Um, so a revolve requires you um, to look at it in elevation. So what I'm going to do, that's, that's where you do a reference plane. So I'm going to do a reference plane right across the middle. And I'm just going to name that RP1. Because if it doesn't have a name, I can't find it. Okay. So I'm going to do a lot of this in the axonometric view so you can kind of see what's happening. So I'm going to go to create, revolve. I'm going to set my reference plane to RP1 and then say show. So we can say, there's my piece of paper, right, that I'm drawing on in 3D. Okay, so from my north elevation, and I'm simply switching to that temporarily because I, I want to draw it at zero. Um, and I don't know exactly how tall this is going to draw, so we're just going to kind of sketch something in really quick. How tall is it? 11 feet. 11 feet. Oh, it's teeny. Just, just, we're doing the wall poly project. Yeah, I know the wall poly project. Okay, so there's my, oh dear, what did I just hit? Sorry. That's all recorded too now, so if you ever need to know how to get the help. Um, okay, so then let's draw, um, that's sort of my helper guide right there, right? Um, but what I really want is this piece that's going to bisect it, right? So I'm going to do that, and that, and so that's what I want to revolve, right? So that's my boundary line. Then I'm going to select my axis line, which is that. So that's what it's going to revolve around, okay? So green checkbox, half dome. Super easy. I like easy. I don't like difficult stuff. We know this about me for sure, right? Okay, so now before you go to turning that to a curtain wall, you've got to do your next cut. Okay. To cut one thing from the other, they need to be in the same family, right? They don't like to be in different families. Mm -hmm. that, that confuses the rabbit. It will still kind of do it sometimes, but it really would much rather than be in the same family. And this is, you're like a barrel vault from the dome? Yeah, it's just like an archway going all the way through. Okay, got it. So I, we, we built that reference plan already, so I can use that view again. And this time it's a simple extrusion, right? So I'm going to go extrusion, pick a plane, RP1. So that's my piece of paper again that I'm drawing on. And let's just go, uh, I wanted to grab center of dome, but it's not going to work. Maybe There it is, center of dome. So I'm walking underneath this thing? Yeah, it's about seven okay. and a half feet. Seven and a half feet, gotcha. Okay, so there's seven and a half feet. And then let's go two to each side of my center line. So I'm now seven and a half feet by four feet wide as my guide, right? So now I'm going to put that arch into here um, at a 45 fling, right? So that's semicircle. And then let's pop that on the other side. So I'm going to mirror it over. And there's probably easier ways to do that, but I like playing with geometry, so that's what I do. I'm getting rid of all of those. I don't need them. And I've got to close off the bottom. And let's check that in 3D. Okay, see what I've got? Okay, so now my extrusion, let's go like um, plus 10. And let's do minus 10. Green checky box. Didn't quite go far enough. Cool. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is, oh, did I do this wrong? Oh, I did it all wrong, maybe. Cut, cut geometry. This, it's cut. This, it's cut like that. Oh, I did it wrong. You I wonder. Yeah, I mean, I meant to do a void form. Is there? A, is there? Um, oh, in my head, there's a little button that says make this form a void form. But I don't think there is. You are asking the wrong girl. <laughs> okay, so since I already have this, I can at least cheat it pretty quickly. So let's let's do it the other, 
create, void form, void extrusion. This time I'm just going to use my tracer. Trace right around those things. So I put it back together really quick. Okay, good trick there. That's in the recording for you now. And now that I've void formed that to that, I've got my color. Now, now I can now I can erase this. So now we've got that, right? Oh, but we're not there yet. We've got to turn it into a curtain wall, which could be tricky. Okay, so now we're going to go architecture, curtain system, and then we're going to select. Yeah, it's only going to do halvesies, and that's fine. So I've got halvesies. Um, my spacing, 5 by 10 for something this size, 5 by 10 is way too big, right? Yeah, I think that was too hard. 2 by 2? 1 by 1? Okay, even three by three seems too big. Let's do like um, a grid spacing. Let's let's make it like six by six inches, because that seems like because <laughs> that seems like about the size of glass block, right? So there's like these little like that could be kind of cool. So six by six. So I renamed it six by six. I'm setting my spacing up to six by six. Create system. Let's see what happens. Cool. Oh, I think it's super small up here at the top. That's almost ridiculous. Okay. So I've got those now, um, and those are my those are my glass panels. But I do need to come back in and do mullions on them. So a five inch mullion on a six inch wide thing is also terrible, right? So I need to go edit type here. And let's duplicate it, and let's do like a one inch mullion, and let's make it a one by 0.5 by 0.5. Because remember, these second two are off the center line. So it's going to go half inch and half inch. Okay, so I can say okay to that. So that's my one inch rectangular mullion, all grid lines, cross your fingers. So it's saying that there's a few that we can't create. Those are going to be up at the top. I don't know if we're going to, have to do that 50 times or not. So what's happening up here is all of this stuff, right? So it's, it's going to be a situation where um, we're going to want to cut and make an oculus out of the top of this, right? Yeah. It's easy. We cut one hole in it. Why can't we cut another one? Well, no, because we just delete the, we'll delete the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is Revit. Next semester. So, um, model in place. Oh, what am I doing? We're not modeling in place. We need to edit this guy. So we're back into editing this form again. Okay, so this time I'm going to do the right thing and make a void form. Which means I'm going to click the right button. Ah, uh, edit in place, void form, void extrusion. Okay, we want to find the center line of this guy again. And let's make a nice big opening at the top. Okay. You're sending more and more skeptical as I go along. Right, so there's this dude. There's that. Right, so now you've got an Oculus. So you're going to have to design something to fit over the top of it, custom. Right, unless you want rain to come in the middle. Which is kind of cool, I think, because it's a folly. You could totally make it happen. It, you, you wouldn't be the first to do a big building with a hole in the top. And yeah, it happens, right? Okay, so now, now when we do this, I'm hoping that the Parthenon, yeah, it's kind of, kind of famous. Um, so let's go finish model. Let's go architecture, um, curtain system. And let's go just, 
well, let's give it a shot. I'm going to try it with that 6 by 6 again. Okay, so create system. And let's see if that hasn't given us a cleaner take up here. Yeah, I see. I think 6 by 6 is too small still because I think that's too crunchy. Too crunchy. So let's undo it. And let's do crit system, edit type, duplicate one by one, one by one, okie dokie, that create system, yeah, right? Now we're going to go architecture, mullion, we're still going to stick with our one by one, all grids, that, boom. So now we want to do the same thing this side. Create system, that one, create system, architecture, mullions, all grids, delete elements. It's probably deleting like one of those or something silly. Right? Something something we don't care about. I mean, we care, but not so much. So then to make it hollow, I'm just going to select that family. Hide in view. I don't really want to delete it because I might want it later. Cool. Yeah, all it takes really is having 20 years of Revit experience to know how to do this stuff. That's all it takes, dude. 